Let's look at this first example. We start off by declaring a struct. Let's call this uh, user. And let's give our user two properties. We're going to give it a name of type string. And we're going to give it an age. And we can make that an int. We can come down here and we can declare a new user. So let user1 equal user. And here's that struct we just created. Let's give him a name of Bob and let's make him 20 years old. Over here, we can actually reference those properties. So we could say print user1.name. And we get Bob. We can do the same thing for age. So print user1.age. Awesome. Now let's do something more advanced. We can create a function inside our struct. So let's call this um, func greet user. And let's just make it greet our user. Let's do something simple. So we can say print hello, hello name. Now to use this function, we can just go down here and we could say user1.greetUser. And we get hello Bob. 